Base, Windows. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Keith here again. And in this video, we're going to check out how to get JAWS set up for uh, inside of Visual Studio Code when uh, while programming. So a basic overview, we're going to first go look at our voice settings and adjust those to uh, have it speak all punctuation and make sure the capital pitch change is 100%. Then next we're going to navigate over to Visual Studio Code and from there we'll go into the JAWS setting center for that application and we will take a look at typing echo, make sure it's both characters and words. Then we're going to go to um, check the indentation, make sure that's checked because we want it to speak out indentation on each line and then the next uh, well finally the very last thing we'll look at is the JAWS keyboard manager for Visual Studio Code and we'll be looking in there at virtual find so it's control F now you'll use control F to search your document for any type of code block or a uh, specific word maybe you can set a little uh, a little bookmark or page mark and then um, find it very quickly with control left well the virtual find gets in the way of that so whenever we get there we'll talk about the options you have but before we get started into the video if you if you're new here please hit that subscribe button if you would like and click the notification icon to get updates whenever I come out with new videos um, if you're if you've been here before and you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. And <clears throat> if you watch till the end and you enjoy, please, before you leave, hit that thumbs up. So from there, let's go ahead and get started. The Like I said, the first thing we're going to do is adjust our voice settings. So I'm going to go into JAWS um, options. JAWS context and to do that I'm going to press my JAWS key and J so insert J and then I'm going to open up my options Basics, dot, dot, dot. go down to voices, voices sub -menu. I'm going to right arrow on that and voice adjustment I'm going to just press enter on this enter, menu bar, leaving menus, voice adjustment, <clears throat> now I already have this voice set up it's a programming voice but for YouTube so it's obviously a slower rate to make sure everybody can hear it well while studying it and then um, I've also got it set up like I would uh, normally whenever I'm programming so if you tab down to uh, punctuation alright so you have four choices here you have um, most, none, none some, two, four, some, most, three, four, most all, four, and all. So we definitely want ours to be on all. And then if you tab, voice spell rate change, voice uppercase, and that's you tab twice, and you come to the voice um, pitch change for capital letters. So we want to make sure that this uppercase pitch change percent colon at twenty is 100 so this has not been changed yet we're actually gonna delete that to zero and type one zero zero all right so we have that set to 100 now we're just gonna tab down till we hear okay well we want to apply so we'll press space on that and then we're gonna shift tab till we hear okay hit enter on that Okay, so now I'm going to just get back to um, Visual Studio Code. I've already got it opened up. And I've got a file open here. It's just a Python file that's for this video. And um, the next step is to open up Setting Center. So the first thing you want to do is hold down Insert or your JAWS key and press F2. Well, that was kind of weird so the capital pitch change makes things sound weird so it <laughs> it put it at a very high pitch there so um we might want to adjust that once we get into the code and we'll see so what you want to do in here is you want to get down you want to press s twice to get to your setting center so s for as in sierra s script s settings 
and it is high pitched an extreme amount. So we're actually going to go ahead and change that uh, just to wow. Let's get into this and hurry up and get this done. So the main thing to note here is that you really need to know whenever um, a capital letter has been presented in a variable or a function name um, because they are case sensitive. So you don't want to you don't want to be messing around with something that <clears throat> should have been capital and the only way uh, we didn't know is because it, it didn't say it at, at a high enough pitch. So um, I'm actually going to put this down to 30. That way so we don't have to hear that. And we're going to tab to apply. And then I'm just going to escape out of it. Alright, so here's what we want to do. We want to get back into that. Um, insert F2. And remember, we're inside of the um, script manager. Or not script manager, but the uh, we're going to go into the setting center from the actual application Visual Studio Code. So now we press S twice, and it's going to put you right into a search field. Here we want to type echo, down arrow. All right, so mine's already set on characters and words, but to cycle through this, you just press spacebar, and it um, will bring you around to the options that you have. Now you want to shift tab. After you set that, you want to... Shift tab back up to the search bar. Search box edit echo. Type in echo. We're going to delete blank, blank, that blank, out. Blank. And you want to look for indent. So I N D N T. We're going to down indent. arrow. One search results list box. Say indented characters checked. General. So say indented characters. We want to make sure this check. Just toggle that with your space bar. Now, once you have those settings set, you can either tab till you hear apply or you can press alt a general page phonetic and then you can shift tab or tab to hear okay phonetic indicate indicate say i escape we're going to get out of that okay left bar two tabs or you can hit escape if it's already saved whenever you apply tab tab all right so the first thing that or finally the last thing we want to look at is your virtual find so to change that key function, you want to get back into um, your JAWS manager. So JAWS key F2. Run, JAWS. All right. So in here, we're going to look for the keyboard manager. So press K. Okay. And we're going to press enter on that. Okay. So it's already going to have the Chrome script selected. We're just going to press tab. All right. So now we're in a list of um commands that are shortcut keys that have been set for um jaws inside of this chrome key map file so what you want to do is i have deleted mine um, because if you delete the virtual find uh, key command out of here whenever you're actually in chrome you can actually just hold down the jaws insert key control f and then that will actually open up open up the jaws virtual find um so or you can rename it so the way to do that is just to make sure this one of the um to first to find it you want to make sure you're in this list you press control f, control f find. type control f backspace or let's, Escape, list view, it's, so you want to make sure that the next thing you type after Control F at the same time is Control F. See, then we're going to press Enter. And mine's not found. Yours will be if it is, unless you've deleted it somehow. And if it is found, it'll go straight to it. And then what you want to do is press your Applications key, or you can press Shift F10 at the same time. And then you will go in and change keystroke. And when you get in there, you will change the assignment. Just type a new keystroke like JAWS key control shift F and that will reassign the virtual find to there. So then you can use control F and um, the biggest reason for this, let me get out of this and tell you. 
So I'm gonna get out of this key map file. So <clears throat> the biggest deal here with Control Find is if I've got a thousand lines, um, like I said, you can place little place markers, uh, comments, or sort like whenever I'm writing HTML, you know, I have uh, each section sectioned off, and then I have a navigation, a header, a main, and then like I said, a section and a footer. So if I have five sections and I want to find the first one, I can do a control F, type in less section, and then go to the top and then cycle through them with F3, the what it finds, and I can go to the second one. Now when the virtual find comes up, it does not allow you to do that. It will actually search the entire document and treat it like a web page. So what I have here is a little bit of code just to show you an example why um, I, I change a few of them. So first we'll start with the um, both characters and words. So I do that because whenever you're typing um, it, it just for accuracy it's nice to know what you're typing because when you're typing code you're not going to be speed typing. I mean you're going to be typing at a pace uh, but it will not be at a fast enough pace not to be able to hear to hear the echo of the single character as you type it and then you hear the word just to make sure it sounds okay whenever you press space or hit a dash or something like that um, and then when you're selecting text if you only have words if you're only reading words it's only going to read you word by word as you select so you don't hear what you're actually uh, choosing so the next thing is is the indentation. Land number yes. All right, so land my bar equals if my bar four spaces. All right, you hear four spaces. So what we're looking at left margin if my bar equals equals zero colon. So if my var equals equals zero colon. So what this is is an if else condition in Python. So we're saying if my var equals zero, we want to four spaces print left parent my bar right parent. We want to print my var, which is the variable my var equals zero. My var equals zero. So Four spaces. we want it to tell us the spaces because Python is delimited by spaces, which means that it, whenever you move into a new, uh, a new code block for um, it to read, it will in, uh, separate by spaces. So when it comes to this if else condition, it will only read what is underneath and indented inside of the if statement if that is true. So if we put this without an indention it will return an, uh, an error. And the same thing with the else. Left margin, else colon. You hear left margin it's all the way to the left because else cannot be indented because anything indented from here is actually going to be a part of if it is actually equal my var is equal to zero. So else. Four spaces, print left. And then four spaces, you hear it again. We have our indention because this is what's going to be um, returned if, or this is what's going to happen, the action that's going to be taken if it is not true and if the number is not zero. So the next thing is punctuation. So programming, that's all it is, is punctuation. Full of it. You have to hear it all. Um, just to know what you're looking at, what you're listening to. And then the next thing is the capital pitch change. So it is a little um, uh, interesting to listen to at first, but you get used to it because it is very helpful. I um, Before I started doing this, uh, there's been times where I've spent 30 minutes, you know, sometimes even hours looking for an error, and it was just simply... Uh, a, a capital letter when I was putting a, a lowercase letter because the word sounded the same. So here you can clearly, clearly. My var equals zero. So my var equals zero. So what that's saying is, is var is capital. That's a capital. It's capitalized the v, and we want to know that because if it's. Oh, why v? M Y and then a lowercase v here, but we're checking my capital V and then lowercase a r. Um, we'll return an error because 
we we don't it's not it won't be found so the finally like i said with the virtual find we started with that um so the idea there is just like i said whenever you need to search a document and find something quick maybe you're uh, working with a team and you have a developer telling you um, what line it is and what's actually in in that little block you can find it very quickly with uh, looking for that word so um, that is gonna end this video for now uh, I will be coming in with the the next video after this will actually be jaws with Python um, and I'll and I'll actually be continuing the series that I started so I hope you enjoyed if you did please leave it a like and again thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video